I know everyone has talked about this book and definitely everyone has talked about the TV show at this point and I am late as usual to the party but I just want to give my two cents on, you guessed it, A Game of Thrones. There was and still is a lot of hype around this book because of the TV show. Uh, now I've not watched the TV show myself so I can't really say anything about it but this book definitely lives up to the hype. I know it looks pretty daunting because it's 800 pages long and the writing is pretty dense but don't let that discourage you because it is a fantastic read. There's a lot of things that I enjoyed about this book. I've always liked fantasy in terms of books and movies and anything else but there's more to it than that and I think it's unfair to just say like oh it's just a fantasy book and there's magical creatures and all this cool stuff and I mean it's there there is a lot of fantasy in it but it's it doesn't like hit you over the head with the fantasy. It's not like Lord of the Rings where the main characters are magical creatures and peoples. I mean, there is the element of fantasy that's very clear in the book, but it's not so much that... I wouldn't say like, you know, sometimes when you have overtly fantasy books, it almost distracts from the characters or the plot because there's just so much of it. But in this, it's like it's the perfect amount of the element of fantasy mixed in with the story to just make it brilliant. What really drew me in was the political aspects of this book, of this Game of Thrones, and it was very much reminiscent of like political times today because things are made you're either one way or you're wrong, and if you try to be good you'll get screwed over and all this good stuff, and it's just like, oh, just so much reminds me of today's political system of how no one seems to win and the politicians are playing the little games and the little 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 people get crushed along the way. Something that irritated me when I first started to read it and then quickly became one of my favorite aspects of the book was the writing from different perspectives. The author uses about I think eight different characters and tells the story through their eyes whether the same thing is happening to two or three of them at the same time or something completely different um and it irritated me at first because I wanted to know what was going to happen to a specific character or a certain plot line and then I turned the page and oh oh ugh, other storyline crap but as it goes along you see how everything intertwines and how they all connect and it's really amazing how the writing just all comes together and that's something that I feel if you watch the TV show you're gonna miss out on because the writing of this book is fantastic like the way the, and the detail that he puts into it and yes there is a lot of detail that's why it's so long but it's something that I don't know I feel like even if you do watch the TV show you will enjoy the book because the writing in it is just fantastic. As for the TV show, I don't quite know when I will start watching it. I'll probably wait until about um, three books into the series before I start season one, just because there is a lot of foreshadowing in the book. And like you can tell that things are going to come from what's hinted, but you can't quite figure it out yet. And some things, you know, foreshadowed throughout the book and then they're revealed in the book. But I'm sure there's a lot of things that are going to be revealed later on in the series. And I rather that I figure it out through reading the book instead of getting hints dropped to me through the TV show because there's a difference in seeing foreshadowing in terms of when you're reading it as opposed to if you see it visually like acted out in front of you things become more obvious if it's acted out in front of you and it's not as subtle and then I don't want something you know during episode three of the first season to give away what's going to happen at the end of the second book because that would just make me really frustrated.